Hello guys, in this quick video I want to demonstrate you some validation rules in Laravel which are more rarely used where fields depend on other fields. So we're all used to required but there's also required with, required without and required without all. So let me show this real life example. So in one of our recent courses we had a form where either you can choose a user or create a new user. Perhaps for better user experience we could use something like JavaScript or Livewire to show or hide this form based on the drop down value but for simplicity of that course since it was not about JavaScript or Livewire I decided to leave both. So both visible either you choose a clinic owner for the new clinic this is the form to create a new clinic or you create a new user and then that user is created and assigned to the clinic. So in the form controller then what happens is team create and then if we do have a user then we find an update otherwise we create a new user and assign the team. Now the validation of store team request. All of those fields are nullable so both user id and those three name email password are nullable so that's probably the first thing to emphasize and then for example clinic whatever if i don't fill in any of those i save and then the validation shows error validation messages on both so user is required where none of those are present and vice versa. Name is required where user ID is not present. And actually looking at those error messages, kind of a side trick with form requests, you can override the name of the field. You can define attributes, so public function attributes, which should return an array of fields, and then you return that user ID would actually be called clinic owner in the validation messages, so clinic owner. So now if I refresh the page and do the same thing, this clinic owner should be used yeah and probably i should change the label here as well to have clinic owner instead of user anyway this is not the topic of the video but i do like those kind of side notes along the way of shooting videos now let's get back to the validation messages so this is required without all which means required where all of those are missing now let's try to fill one of them in. Now we save and what will be the validation messages? Now this has passed the validation because required without all means that it is required when all of those are empty. In this case this is false. One of them is present. Now these error messages for the email and password are triggered with another rule required without user ID. So if the user ID is not present then these are required. Logical, right? Now let's fill in some password or let's use password suggestion. And now if we save, the validation message is email is required. Again, related to the clinic owner, which makes me think actually maybe this required with is not really necessary. Three times, let's actually try it out together. Refresh the form, enter the name, enter the password, and we save. And yeah, the error message didn't change. What if we choose the email here? We save. Yeah, the validation still is okay. So that required with was kind of overkill and necessary, but I still want to comment on that. Required with means that if email and password are present with values then name is also required. So in the case of the form where we had just those three fields without the user ID dependency then required with would be also useful. Now question to you do you know any of the cases where that require with or require without would be useful in dynamic forms? Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.